going on guys? It is your boy Cesar here with a video here today. It brings a brand new video, futuristic one minute banner design series, which basically means like a one minute banner that you can do in one minute after you watch a 20 minute video. Okay, don't get mad at me. Just get mad at the fact that I still have to teach you, okay? So regardless, I think this is a pretty dope like concept. Don't get me wrong, this, this is fire. Like if you don't like it, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> But hopefully you guys like it. It's a super dope style and it's so easy to do as well. Um, it all depends on what your photo choice is. I gave you the font in the description down below as well. And I also gave you the site that I got my photo from. So regardless, I think I gave you guys all the assets to make a really, really cool style, um, which also you can, of course, take the banner tour and make it into like a poster series, uh, design product series, whatever. Hopefully that's the play for you today. So basically just look at this and you go, this is dope. Open up Photoshop, give it a shot, broaden your way and broaden your skill and all that good stuff. So hope you guys enjoy the tour here today. And of course, if you guys like the video, please sure to leave a like on the video let me know if you guys like banner tours again um it's been a little bit so just let me guys just let me know okay love you guys enjoy the video all right guys so let's go ahead and jump right in right now i'm pretty excited for this it's pretty simple to do and it also just looks so freaking dope um okay so first things first of course you're gonna need a picture now i got my picture from unsplash unsplash.com and when i was on this site i went ahead and immediately went to architecture and here's where I found my photo. Now, when you're looking for your photo, don't choose something that has like a really blue background. Choose something that's more moody, more darker, and kind of just like like something like this might even work, even close close enough in my opinion. But nothing crazy like in the in the the high highlights, right? So as you guys saw, my picture was really really dark, and I basically saw the top half, and I saw that, and I was like, this is it. So when you guys get your photo, basically choose something that's really really dark. Sorry, my hair is super wet. Um, super dark and uh, works well for what we're going for. So of course, once you got your really cool dark photo, which I already have inside Photoshop for us, you uh, are pretty much good to go. Now the fonts that I am using in today's video are Marsic, um, Neutro, I think is how you say it, uh, GK type by the way. And last but not least, I think that was, actually that, I mean, that might be it. So those three fonts are the ones I'm using in today's video. If you guys wanna download them, I'll put them down in the description for you as well. And uh, yeah, now we got all the, the, you know, the asset stuff out the way. Let's actually get into designing this. So let's go ahead and scoot in a little bit and start getting this thing going. So the first thing I want to go ahead and do is color correct my photo. So I'm going to filter, camera roll filter, and then in camera roll filter, I'm going to go ahead and just basically lower my whites, lower my highlights, lower my shadows, and basically kind of flatten the image a little bit as we'll even take out some of the color. So right away, you can already see there's a little bit of a blue kind of going on here in the top. And as cool as it might look, I just think for the distraction of or not the distraction, but just for like the concept of what I'm looking for, I want something a little more mute. So I'm gonna take the blacks, make it pretty dark, right? Take the whites, lower them down as well. The shadows, lower them down a little bit as well. Highlights, definitely lower them down as well. And kind of like almost like a step, kind of like lowering them all kind of like in this kind of ratio here, right? Kind of see a little diagonal line kind of thing going on. So after that, I'm gonna go to where it says vibrance and I'll lower this down to like negative 34 or so, negative 35, okay? And I'll get rid of some of the color just like that, right? But I also wanna lower the saturation about negative 15. I think right around here, I can even say, yo, texture a little bit, why not? And a little more on the black. So I'm gonna say that's pretty good. So I press okay, boom. Look how moody and dramatic and already kind of gives me a really cool playing field to play with. And uh, now we're already actually get going. So the first font that I'm gonna be using, oh, I forgot to turn this off, my bad. Uh, the first font that we're gonna be using is actually, uh, what is this called? It's called Nitro, Neutro, Neutro, okay? And then we're gonna type in future futuristic yo if i spell it wrong just like okay uh so basically right i'm gonna kind of let this go ahead and hang off the left hand side because right away you guys will see let me actually make a duplicate of this over here and drag this up just so we can have like a reference limit okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the same exact thing so i have futuristic and i have series so i have my basically my heading font or my heading word which is gonna be futuristic or it can be your name or whatever and my subtext is gonna be like series so i'm gonna say futuristic series if there's no real series going on here i'm just kind of like you know Filling some words in. I'm gonna put Marsic. And this is the second font that you're using Marsic, by the way, right? I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit. And I'm gonna immediately give this my secondary color because I already know I wanna have this orange be what's playful around. So you can already see with a really cool futuristic font and a nice little subtext font that kind of matches and a good background, you're already looking pretty good. In my opinion, you're looking pretty fantastic already. So once you have this, right, uh, we're pretty good. So the subtext, by the way, can be anything. You can be like your name. Um, it could be, I don't know, not your name, but it could be social medias. It can be like, graphic designer, it can say who you are, vlogger, whatever, right? And then pretty much we're good to go there, right? So what I wanna do now is this little part over here. So basically what makes a really cool futuristic header is a lot of text and type and kind of filling space with type. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did over here. I'm gonna take this, okay? Um, I can also, I already also can tell that this is a lot more darker and I wanna make, I wanna make it a little more darker too. We're gonna lower the saturation on this a little bit more too. 
Okay, I matched it. There we go. I matched it perfectly. Okay, so now what I do, I'm gonna take the same Marsic font, right? I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna give myself some slashes. Now, this font actually doesn't have the slashes, so don't mind it. It's fine. This will work just like so. Then I'm gonna do the take it again, right? And this I'm gonna write some random numbers. You can make this, you know, be whatever you want. I'm just gonna type something in. If your phone number is this, I apologize. It's not my fault, right? So basically, right, I'm gonna lower this down, shrink this down a little bit. Right, just like so leave it on the bottom portion over here the same as i think i did over here and then why not add another description word we're gonna say uh, uh banner design tutorial the cool thing is i don't know if you guys noticed but even on the header itself right the original one look what i wrote over here it's i, I wrote some stupid stuff so realistically i wrote creative genius okay so realistically it'd be anything you want it's honestly the type and how you put it together that makes it look really cool this could say anything stupid but it would still look cool right so there's the idea for the record but i'm just going to kind of write anything i want i'm going to say banner design tutorial and for the last word i'm going to write out or just like make this orange because i think this orange here is a nice playful thing to kind of put around in, in a few spots right so put on the series put it on the little dashes going through put on the uh, the, uh, the word tutorial and why not right and uh, once we're here, we're pretty good. So now what I do is this little back portion over here. I think this is a super, super dope sort of like little thing here. Like this little sort of like blurry back. I wanna show you how to do that. Cause really this stuff up here is like really quick to do, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this layer here. This is my picture layer. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight just like so right around here, a pretty big block, a big portion of it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is a pretty good size, right? I'm gonna highlight that with the marquee tool. This is this tool right here. Okay, highlight it just like so, click, drag, and I'm gonna say right around here is pretty solid. Now the color I wanna fill this in with is gonna be this color right here. So the hex code for this is 131416, press okay. Now I'm gonna quick fill that in for myself. You can either right click, fill it in if you guys wish to. I forgot to make a new layer, by the way, and make a new layer. So you're gonna have this nice little gray here. Now this little gray, right, we're gonna take the fill, not the opacity, the fill, which basically the difference between fill and opacity is if you lower your fill all the way down to zero, you cannot see your project anymore, just like so. However, all the layer styles you put on it will still be available and be seen, right? So that's what we wanna keep. So the fill, we're gonna lower this down to about, what's like a pretty solid, like, let's say like mm, 65. I like 65. Okay, I like 65. Now what I also wanna do, is I want to click control, right? Hold control my keyboard, select the thumbnail of this little block right here, basically gets the selection once again. Go back to my uh, uh, my picture here, right click with the marquee tool, by the way, right click with the marquee tool. This will give you the option to layer via copy. We want to basically do that, right? When we layer via copy, we want to go to where it says filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're basically going to Gaussian blur. There's about five or four pixels. I think five is a pretty solid amount, just like so. And just like that, I mean, you can see the blur kind of acts like this little fun little sort of like looking through kind of like darker glass something like that. It looks pretty dope. So I'm going to say the fill can be even lower just a little bit more. I'll say 60. Um, yeah, let's say 60. Okay. Let's say 60. Now, the cool thing is when I go to my uh, layer styles, if I double click on this, uh, the, the blurry layer, not the blurry layer, the layer above that, which is my block layer. I'm going to take my uh, layer uh, styles. There we go. Go to stroke and I'm going to choose the color three, five, four. Uh, three five three four english is in blurs and letters things like that but they're all hard <laughs> three five three f40 okay so this is basically a kind of a tone that i chose because of this background here so i kind of clicked on my canvas around and i just made it a little bit more lighter so if you have like a more of a darker canvas or whatever basically click your canvas and then more of the lighter spots right and just move it up just a little bit that way it stands out just that little tiny bit and once you have that you press okay size on one by the way press okay now what I'm gonna do is gonna right click on this layer and convert it to a smart object. That'll basically lock in our opacity, our layer styles in one single layer, but now we can erase things without other layer styles being attracted to it. So once I have this, I'm gonna click on the layer mask, okay? Now with the layer mask, I'm gonna take a brush. Now a nice little simple zero hardness brush, okay? Take the black, which will basically erase, right? You see I'm erasing. So what's gonna basically happen is if I erase these little sections over here, like in the bottom, Nice and smooth. It's basically, uh, how do you say, revealing the blur, the blur, bleh, dude, why not? Okay, <laughs> it's revealing the blurry layer right below it, right? So it's kind of this little fun thing you do. So let's say on the left hand side, we just do the same as I think over here. And it kind of makes it look super, super, super clean. I think it looks freaking dope in my opinion. Um, so yeah, now I want to do, because I haven't done it yet, I'm going to finish off with the little kind of like uh, texturing of the type. I'm going to put the same exact words I did over there on the right hand side and kind of like you know basically doing this but on this side over here just like this i'm gonna do the same exact thing really quickly so you guys to watch that part because yeah. 
boom there we go right simple basically it doesn't matter what you write it will always look pretty cool in my opinion okay so it doesn't matter i'm gonna hover that i'm gonna make this orange just to make that make sure that little anomaly of orange or that simple color that you choose to use um you can do any color whatsoever right but i chose orange i think it looks good um basically just have that kind of like a little spot just kind of texturize the canvas a little bit more add a little bit of color to it um subtle color to it so i'm gonna make a new layer right above everything by the way now this new layer i'm gonna go ahead and click and basically get a nice simple kind of like white around here so basically an offset white okay so this offset white i'm gonna actually have that on the blue hue as well i'm gonna kind of move it to the right just a little bit press okay highlight the canvas on this right hand side with the marquee tool selection this tool right here once again right right click fill i'm gonna just choose the color for here so you can see what i'm doing again right nice little simple offset white press okay press okay again and this will just kind of cut off the banner in a little bit and just add that really cool dynamic of just kind of like being cool right i just looks i just think it just kind of cuts it off breaks it apart a little bit more especially if your photo is a little bit lacking on the right hand side like mine was it just kind of fills space as well right so i'm also going to lower this down or shrink this well let's just do boom shrink down just a little bit more this a little bit right here i think it looks perfect right there so with this offset white i'm gonna make a new layer then i'm gonna clip mask this layer to this new layer okay so we have a layer clip mask to the layer below it now i can take a nice foreground color white a pure white this time or a little bit i guess like an offset grayish tone and i'll kind of just go ahead and go ahead and just click kind of just add myself a little bit of color just like that you can hopefully you can see the difference between the two colors if you can't um it, this probably part won't really make sense to you but basically one color is a little bit more of a blue hint which i actually really noticed that it's a little bit too blue so i'm gonna take the saturation lower down a little bit more and make it more of a subtle kind of like difference right there we go now with this subtle difference here i can take this color over here or this text over here excuse me bring it above here now with this type color let's go ahead and just make this pure white for a second is it already pure white it is not boom pure white now at this I'm just hide a little bit of fun stuff i'll just put grab design we'll put design and we'll put like a uh, banner why not right and i'll just do something like that design banner now if i want to i can i can even keep it right here that that right there still looks cool but i'm gonna rotate it with control t just like so and rotate and put on this side right here just leave that to be what it is you can put your logo in there you can put like socials down going down in a row that could be kind of cool too to fill that space but i'm gonna leave that just as is because that space right there is just kind of breaking up the photo itself for me so now what i can do is a little last part that i did that made this look pretty cool was this little uh this little kind of like section right here the blurry section again but also adding in the uh the cool little sort of like how do you call this this is a bar scanner right so the bar scanner all i did was make a new layer take the rectangle marquee tool once again it's like our best friend this tutorial right click hover and i'm just going to fill in this little white tone i have here now i can just basically make a duplicate this duplicate i zoom in pretty close Control t and then shrink the right hand side while holding shift all right click this anchor hold shift move it inward and just like that i got myself a little thing i just basically make some different duplicates kind of make them look a little bit weird right i'll do like five of these in a row a little farther away and just like that you got yourself a barcode Super simple, right? All I did was, uh, by the way, to duplicate them is I hold Alt and Shift, click and drag. Alt, hold all, holding, holding Alt and Shift, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Click, is it just hold it on? It'll basically make duplicates for you guys. Now this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna group this together, just like so. This is our barcode. Okay. Now this, I'm gonna add in another little one of these little blur things. I'm gonna do that really quick for us. Perfect. I add a little blur thing to it now. All I can do here is just take the same number over here if I want to, or even make a different number. Um, I'm actually gonna type in like literally random numbers hyphen three numbers just like that i think it's kind of like a simple kind of way to make it look like a barcode code and uh, just like that i can add a little orange in here as well because why not just add a little anomaly of orange this looks pretty good so that is pretty perfect almost close to exactly the original now of course you guys see this little thing over here this little stretch thing over here super cool super simple to do as well all you guys have to do Right? I'm going to take everything and just press, basically press Control, Alt, Shift, and E on the top layer. This will basically combine all your layers together and put it in one single layer, just exactly how I have this little copy up here to kind of bring back me the original. That's exactly what this is. Now it's the, every, everything in one single layer. What we want to do, though, is we want to highlight the left-hand side. I'm going to highlight it right where the F ends, or like right in the middle of the F, basically because it just made it look cool. You can you don't have to do it there, but wherever you want to put it, right? Um, as long as like your background is there, which it is going to be if you just select a, a nice portion of the left-hand side, you press right-click copy so i can just get rid of this now so only thing that's kind of like hovering over um is this little piece right here once you have this little piece i can press Control t to free transform zoom out all the way basically make sure you hold on to the left hand side and kind of take your uh shift hold it and just like you know bring it out a little bit to the left but zoom out all the way 
and then click hold shift bring it all the way out just like so press ok and if you zoom back in it'll stretch it's kind of cool now make sure your file size is not huge make sure you hover it once again with the marquee tool selection this tool right here hover this layer again right click cut right and then delete this layer that was super long because if i press ctrl t you can see that's all the way over there you want to delete that only leave this little piece now here and then you got like you got yourself like a little stretched little thing going on here looks pretty dope and uh last but not least would be the letters that i have which is the second font um the third font excuse me that i don't know if i actually said by the way which is lcd it's lcd um l d l lcd all right led i think it's led why is it lcd what, what's else whatever okay so oh one i'm gonna type in some numbers here on these numbers i'm gonna make sure i quick fill that same exact color in as before i'm just gonna type in some random things like 009 i can type in any numbers that i want ever or it can even be letters or type or whatever you want to do and i'm gonna do like like 100 sure right and then i'll just move this a little bit more over here i can make some smaller make some bigger now i think right around here is pretty dope now to make this look pretty cool though i'm gonna double click on this layer over here and all i'm gonna do is add an outer glow and i'm gonna have this outer glow blend mode on a linear dodge add okay let my uh size be around like 50 75 or so right my range is about 50 percent and uh, the color that I chose, of course, is basically a little bit of a lighter tone than the original color. So this is the original color right here. It's a little more to the left. And just like that. So if yours is blue or whatever, just click on the same blue and then move it over to the top left just a little bit. Press OK. Press OK again. Right click. Copy layer style. Take these two layers. Paste that same layer style on it as well. I got myself glowies on all of them right there. I think I can make this a little bit bigger. Because why not? Right, just a little bit bigger. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is literally all I ended up doing. I also, of course, added that GK font, which is like if I just type a number in, like one, a GK type, like this, hover over it, GK, right? I do have this. I did have a little symbol there, GK font right here. I just had a little symbol going on here. I can just put it in the middle this time and make it white, because why not? There you go. Or put it over like here. I don't know. It's a little weird kind of now because I have the 100 there, but you guys can put some type stuff, more texture into it yourself, but overall that's it guys that is the tutorial right here right now that was also my phone sorry um uh, but yo i hope you guys enjoyed today's video today this was something that was, i haven't done a band tour by the way in like like seven months so it's been a little bit and uh, i think i came with some heat i think guys i really like this this definitely this kind of concept and idea works in like posters uh, if you add some really cool fun robot textures or robots regardless just very cool mechanical things no matter what you guys put on this plexus anything um it's all gonna look pretty cool so Hopefully this gave you guys a really cool foundation and uh, gave you guys some little, you know, motivation to get in Photoshop and try something different out. Uh, that's all I got for you guys today. So Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud, guys. I love you guys so very much. And uh, if you guys like the video, be sure to like the video. If you guys want to see more banners for it, uh, that's all I got. Peace.